Welcome back. In this video, we'll finally add something useful to our web application and allow users to submit their own comments to our page. Let's jump right into the HTML and get started. So first we need a form, and we want the method for the form to be post. Then we'll need a text area for them to enter in the comment, and we'll have to give it a name, let's say, comment. I'm going to add a div to separate this out and just put a form submission button right down here. Uh, have the text be post comment. That looks good. Let's go ahead and start our server to find out what happens if we run our code as is. Open up your terminal and type go run main.go. Then switch to the web browser and go to localhost 8080. You'll see that our form is there now with our text area and our post button. So we'll leave a comment. It looks like nothing happened, but if you open up the developer console, you'll see that the request actually failed. Method not allowed. And that's because in our code, we only have a handler for the get method. We have to implement a handler for the HTTP POST method. To do that, we can copy this line and change the method. We also have to change the function names, just so they're not the same. and add a new function for the post handler. The first thing this function is going to do is parse the form from the request body. There's a simple method to do that. Then from that form We'll get the comment. This is the part that we submitted from the text area right here. Now we'll tell Redis to push that comment onto our comments list. And then we'll want to redirect the client back to our page since they just submitted a form. If we did everything correctly, we should be able to open up our terminal, stop the server from before with control C, then start it again, open up our browser to localhost 8080, and see if it works. There you go, our comment works. In the next video, I'll show how to add a static file handler to the application so we can serve some CSS and style this page up a bit. If you'd like to download the code from these videos, I've left a link to the GitHub project in the description, which should be somewhere over there. Bye!